Hi, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Philip Love at Security Central. Uh, thank you for attending our webinar series. And today uh, we are presenting you with TailGuard. Um, we have Adam Emmett with us. He is the um, regional sales manager, uh, Mid-Atlantic. Um, I think he said he was covering quite a few states. So he, he's there to help and to assist and he'll be doing the present, presentation today. Uh, we will be taking questions, so any questions that you have throughout the webinar, um, please submit them uh, through GoToWebinar, and we will address those at the end. And of course, if we can help you with anything, uh, please let us know. All right, Adam. Hey, thanks, Philip. Uh, just uh, just want to take a, a short time to thank everybody for tuning in today, uh, whether you're listening live or you're uh, you're listening to this on a recorded method uh, at a later date and i also want to thank security central for for getting us the opportunity to to get our message out there and talk a little bit about um, what telguard is and what we do for for you as a dealer and for your customers um, so as philip said my name is adam emmett i am uh, the regional sales manager i've been with telguard for a little over seven years now uh, covering the rocky mountain uh, or sorry the uh, uh, Mid-Atlantic and Carolina territory, and then um, as of recently, kind of temporarily covering the uh, the Rocky Mountain territory. So, 14 states. Uh, there's a good chance if you're listening that I am your your guy. So, if there's anything I can do to to help you, support you, uh, I'm happy to do it along with the rest of our our team here at Telgard. So, with that, we'll uh, we'll get right into it here. Um, so, Telgard offers a variety of universal communicators for different applications. So whether your need is, is for a residential or a commercial application, TailGuard has the right device uh, to meet your needs. With over 30 years in business, we have the experience and tools uh, to make your business a success. So what is TailGuard? You know, a lot of you that are here listening are probably veterans and you're very well aware of who TailGuard is, but for those who, who are new uh, or just getting in, let me take a little bit of time to, to go over what is TailGuard. Uh, so simply put, we are a tel uh, TelGuard is an alarm communicator that replaces the need for traditional telephone lines or POTS. The communicator can also be used as a backup to POTS, and we do this on just about any panel out in the field uh, using virtually any format. So TelGuard communicators are dial capture units that send alarms and messages to the central station uh, using either the AT&T or Verizon cellular network. So TelGuard has a, a major footprint in the residential bird, commercial bird, and fire security market. So today we're going to take a look at how TelGuard plays a role in those areas. So to better understand uh, how TelGuard works, let's take a basic look at the signal forwarding process. This, uh, this general explanation applies to all Telgard products. So when an alarm or signal is generated from the panel, Telgard transmits that signal using the cellular network, either AT&T or Verizon, and that's going to be based on the specific unit uh, that you purchased and installed. So that signal is sent to the Telgard Communication Center, or what we call TCC, where it is decrypted before being delivered to the central station um, delivery, I should mention here, delivery from the TCC to the central station can be sent either via a, an 800 number you know, through a, a telephone line or IP delivery. Uh, highly recommend IP delivery. Uh, you, you get a much more reliable and faster response. <clears throat> so why TelGuard? Um, with phone lines becoming more obsolete, a cellular solution is becoming more necessary in the security industry. So why choose, uh, you know, choose TelGuard? TelGuard has been transmitting these alarm signals over a cellular network for over 30 years. We know what we're doing. In addition, we care about growing your business, and what better way to grow a business than adding recurring monthly revenue, or RMR is what we call it. All TelGuard products allow you to add RMR to your business models. Um, Telgard communicators use the number one and number two cellular networks in the country, AT&T and Verizon. So 
so you can be confident that the product that you put in your customer's home or business is going to be reliable. We provided the first universal LTE communicator. So as long as LTE devices are being installed, you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that you get to skip the next sunset. And that is something that we will talk about later in this slide. I know everybody's a little anxious and um, there, there may be a little bit of confusion on the sunset, so we will address that here later. Uh, Telegraph communicators are a great upgrade or takeover solution. So no need to replace customer equipment just to provide uh, interactive service. Also, our, uh, our online registration and programming will allow you to activate panels that you would normally be locked out of. So that's, that's a big plus that a lot of our dealers love. Um, end user control is key today. So with Home Control Flex, and that's, that's uh, one of our services that we'll expand on later, your customers will be able to control their security system along with their home or business from anywhere in the world. So let's take a look at some of the features that make Telguard units the best products in the market today. Um, all the Telguard units are full data capture. So this means that any Telguard unit will capture the signal from the panel and deliver it to the central station in the same format that it was received. <clears throat> Telguard units are, uh, are designed to handle a wide variety of formats as possible, from common formats such as contact ID to older formats formats such as modem 2e, uh, 3x1, 4x2, um, you know, in any of the formats that, that are used today, Telguard can pretty much take care of. All of Telguard's primary hardware is UL listed as well, uh, whether it be for residential or commercial. Besides the traditional alarm forwarding service that Telguard is known for, we also offer added services such as Home Control Flex. That is an interactive option that allows residential end users to download an app uh, and remotely arm and disarm their panels using the Telguard unit. Uh, link supervision is another feature. This service is used to supervise the path, uh, or the communication path in commercial fire applications, as well as high-end commercial bird applications that would be used in stuff like bank vaults and jewelry stores and pawn shops, stuff like that. So, so far, we've, uh, we've looked at who Telguard is and, and what we do. Uh, now, a little bit of how we do it. So, now, let's, uh, let's get into the actual product. What you're looking at now, this is our flagship communicator, the TG1 Express. It's probably what um, most people recognize Telguard for. Once you have a good grasp of the TG1 Express, the rest of the product line will be pretty simple to understand. Um, TG1 Express is a universal LTE communicator for alarm panels that is used to be a cellular-only solution. And we'll talk about backup solutions here in just a bit. Um, the TG1 Express powers off the panel, consuming 45 milliamps in a normal state and 200 milliamps during transmission. So that's you know, less than a standard keypad. Um, the single-line interface cable, or SLIC as we call it, that makes for an easy installation, enabling power and telephony over a single Cat5 cable. And just, just to add a little bit here, um, with a pair of wires uh, to an available zone on that Cat5 cable, that's really all you need um, to add the home control flex service that we'll talk about later, uh, wired to an available zone. So let's take a, a quick second here to reflect on what we've covered so far. We've talked about who Telguard is, uh, uh, how Telguard works. We've even looked at the actual Telguard product. So let's, uh, let's take a look at one of the great features that Telguard offers, and that's Home Control Flex. <clears throat> so in the past, interactive service on a security system was looked at as a luxury, right? Now it's become the standard. So if a customer has a security system and a smartphone, they expect to have complete control wherever, whenever. And that's what Home Control Flex does. So with our user-friendly app, Home Control Flex will give your customers the ability to remotely arm and disarm their system, uh, receive text or email notifications of alarm activity, uh, and just newly added push notifications also, um, view live, 
or recorded video, and even control their system with smart speakers like Amazon Alexa. So here's a view uh, from the customer's perspective perspective of how the uh, how the arm and disarm uh, procedure would look. And here's a view looking at the history in this particular slide. It's um, it's showing the uh, a camera snapshot. What I would encourage everyone to do if you're listening to this is to go ahead and download the Telguard Home Control Flex app if you haven't already done so. When you download the app, and, and it's very important to, um, to download the Home Control Flex, not Home Control. When you download Home Control Flex and you open it, uh, there's no need to, to put in a login or ID or anything like that. If you look towards the bottom, you'll see View Demo. Um, tap on View Demo, and you'll be able to arm and disarm a dummy system, um, look at sample cam Arlo cameras or video that we have on there. And I encourage you to do this for two reasons. One, you're going to become more familiar with how the, the Home Control Flex service works with Telguard. Um, but two, it's a good selling tool that you have in your back pocket. So when your sales guy is at a customer's home, he can pull out his phone, open up the Home Control Flex app, hit that view demo, and then put it in the customer's hands and let them see what, um, you know, what their system, how, their, how they would interact with their system. So please, um, you know, definitely by the end of this, <laughs> of this webinar, hopefully, you will have added uh, Home Control Flex onto your phone and you can be testing that out. So in order to enable Home Control Flex, you're going to need to make sure that your panel can accommodate these four requirements. Uh, and these are pretty, pretty simple, pretty basic. We don't have a whole lot of issues uh, with people not being able to add Home Control Flex. Um, so the four, feet, or the four requirements for Home Control Flex is that it ha it's going to have to report in contact ID. Uh, second one is the panel is going to need to um, report opening openings and closing to the Telguard unit, not necessarily the, the central station. We know that would be an extra, you know, an added cost potentially, um, but just just opening and closings to Telguard. And then um, the two important ones here are there needs to be an available zone that can be programmed as a momentary key switch. So you would uh, again off of that Cat5 cable, you would uh, take a pair and wire it to an available zone. And then there also needs to be an available programmable output, and that's going to uh, show the arm status, arm or disarm status. So as long as your panel can meet those four requirements, uh, you can add Home Control Flex to your customer's account. And, and something to keep in mind, uh, you may have uh, a lot of Telguards out in the field right now, a lot of TG1 Expresses out in the field that are just being used as a signal forwarding device. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to go out and you know, add uh, a, a really needed service or, you know, a, a service that everybody's wanting anyway, um, it's going to give you more recurring revenue. So we charge, uh, for Home Control Flex, we, uh, we charge $1.99 a month. Uh, so mark that up however you will, and uh, there's your recurring revenue. So let's talk about the video portion of Home Control Flex. In order to add video to Home Control Flex, you must um, use one of the Arlo or Arlo Pro cameras. So whether you are registering a new Telguard radio or adding Home Control Flex to an existing Telguard account, you'll need to access the interactive tab on Telguard.com. When enabling Home Control Flex, there will be a, an option asking if you are adding cameras. Check that box if you are. When installing uh, the Arlo cameras, your customer is going to be required to set up an Arlo account, either through the Arlo website or through the app. Once the Telguard uh, has been installed and the cameras have been enrolled, the customer is going to download the Home Control Flex app, and uh, that's where they'll be asked to provide their Arlo username and password. Once they enter that in, uh, the Arlo cameras will now be visible on the Telguard Home Control Flex app. So rather than having one app, you know, Home Control Flex for their security system, and a separate app, Arlo, for their cameras, everything will be centralized to um, the Telguard Home Control Flex app. So 
So let's let's talk a little bit about these cameras. Um, and just a just a side note here, I personally have had uh, several Arlo cameras at my house for the last three plus years. Uh, I consider myself somewhat of an Arlo pro. So if anybody ever has any questions, whether today or down the road, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I, I really enjoy these cameras, uh, and I'm happy to talk about it for much longer than I'm allowed to on, on this webinar. Um, the Arlo camera is an indoor-outdoor motion trigger camera. It's completely wire-free. Um, the original Arlo runs off of the four CR123 batteries and provides about four to six months of typical use before the batteries need to be replaced. The Arlo Pro, uh, that comes with a rechargeable battery pack, eliminating the need, eliminating the need to, uh, to replace batteries. Uh, the Arlo Pro also provides two-way voice. So both of these cameras require a base station that is connected to the customer's modem. Um, Arlo pro does provide one week or one gigabyte of recordings to the cloud at no charge. Um, another side note here is on the back of that base station that's required, there is uh, two USB ports that will allow up to two terabytes of local storage. So now that we've taken an in-depth look at the TG1 Express and Home Control Flex, let's continue to look at the rest of Telgard's products. <clears throat> what you're looking at here is the TG4. Uh, it's, uh, visually, it's somewhat of a bigger version of the TG1 Express, uh, but the TG1 Express is a cell-only device, and the TG4 here can be used as a cell primary with POTS as a secondary or as a backup to a POTS line. Uh, the TG4 is also UL listed for standard line security. You'll see this a lot um, in requirement, insurance requirements for pawn shops, jewelry stores, uh, stuff like that. And, and what the standard line security does is provide the 200 second line supervision. Okay. Um, and then next we have the TG7. This provides cellular backup for commercial Berg applications. Again, using AT&T or Verizon network, um, your call. T7 is also UL listed for standard line security, providing that 200 second line supervision. So I get a lot of questions uh, when it comes to security on the commercial side of things, of what's the difference between the TG4 and the TG7. Um, the biggest difference is once the TG4 is in a plastic radio, the TG7 uh, is in a metal can. That's, that's really, they, they both do the same thing. It just depends on the environment and, and what you're going to need. So the TG7FS, this is, um, it's not our most, if it's not our number two, it's our number one most popular product. Um, the TG7FS is a UL864 listed uh, device that uh, can be used as a sole path communicator for commercial fire applications. Depending on the version of NFPA handbook that each jurisdiction is following, there may be different requirements that need to be met. Uh, because cellular is becoming more widely accepted and, um, and necessary in the commercial fire market, let's take a couple of minutes to dive a little bit deeper into the TG7 FS. So I want to take some time to focus on this um, because there's such a great opportunity in commercial fire for dealers right now. Um, the first thing I want to take a look at is a little bit of a deeper dive into the NFPA code and what it means to the TG7FS. So historically, there was no single path solution until NFPA 72 released its 2010 edition of the code book. In this version of the book, NFPA introduced the requirements for a single technology path to be used as a replacement for redundant pot lines. The main requirements <clears throat> were that a five-minute loss of connection needed to be enunciated at the central station and that there must be at least 24 hours of battery time uh, if AC is removed. Both of these requirements are met by the TG7FS using the five-minute link supervision and a seven-amp battery. With the cellular, sol with the cellular solution, any, uh, any issue lasting for longer than five minutes must generate a no notification to the dealer. With redundant telephone lines, you would only be notified by a missing timer test, which would happen in 12-hour intervals at best. 
the um, the 2013 edition of NFPA 72 committed to the improvement of the sole pass standard. So after receiving the initial feedback from the field, the codebook made one crucial adjustment. It authorized the second sole pass communication standard of 60 minutes rather than the five minutes. This new standard allows a cellular communicator to have the inevitable, inevitable network issue every once in a while, but allows it plenty of time to recover. In essence, the changed, uh, this changes reduces the number of failures that can be seen by a cellular unit when standard tower maintenance or other service events occur. So what's the advantage of a sole path solution? Why, you know, why would anyone choose a single path over two lines? Let's take a look at that. Uh, we, can, we can discuss the advantages by using two very different approaches. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the financial angle first. Um, the cost of a commercial phone line to an end user is by far greater than the cost of Telgard's sole path solution. And that's, um, you know, take into the account um, that cost and double it because you have to have those two phone lines to the fire panel, okay? And that's a dramatic difference. After adding your margin as a dealer, the solution that you offer, the sole path solution that you offer to replace those two phone lines is very cost effective to the end user. Uh, this basic chart illustrates this point. So having two landlines is by far a bigger expense to your customer um, rather than the Telgard sole path solution. And that, that's including your margins. Uh, it's a win-win situation. So before your customers paid more you know, and they were paying the phone company, now they get the benefit of a discount. And before, you know, you made money off of the monitoring, but, you know, again, the phone line was, that money was going to Spectrum or AT&T or Verizon or whoever. Now, you, the dealer, is getting that recurring revenue um, by replacing those telephone lines. So, the financial advantages are pretty clear, but the technical advantages are, are even more clear. So, when you have two pot lines, you're essentially relying on redundancy as means to ensure a stable connection. When you set up each line for its required daily test, you would normally get a test to come into the central station every 12 hours. This means that if both lines go down because of an issue with a telephone company, it could take up to 12 hours for the central station to realize it. With a supervised single path, the, the connection is always monitored. Uh, depending on the version of NFPA, it could take five or 60 minutes for the failure to show up at the central station. This means a quicker reaction time, and also, because you control the path, you no longer face any issues with customers changing service with their phone lines. And we're seeing that a lot now with, um, you know, property managers and, and buildings switching from traditional copper lines to voice over IP and anything digital. Um, so that's, uh, that's an advantage for everybody right now. Uh, link supervision is only the supervision of the communication path to our TCC. Remember, we talked about the TCC earlier, stands for the Telguard Communications Center. Uh, with link supervision, the Telguard will constantly transmit transparent check-in signals to the TCC. These check-in signals will be used as a, uh, as a way to verify that the TG7FS is still reachable on the network. So to better explain that, and better explain link supervision, let's take a look at an example. So this is a graph that represents five-minute supervision. To understand how it all works, we first need to understand that the TCC is always in between any signal coming from the Telguard unit and being delivered to the central station. The TCC is where all communications have to go through. When link supervision is enabled in a unit, it will begin transmitting small packets of data. And these packets of data are nothing but small check-in signals with um, signals whose sole purpose is to let the TCC, let the TCC know that the unit is communicating. Over at the TCC, we have a counter. When this counter reaches five minutes, it will alert the central station by attending or by sending it uh, a message. However, any of the check-in signals arriving at the TCC can reset the counter back to zero. So this is how we monitor the Telguard. 
as long as there is a check-in signal arriving every so often, the counter will never get to five minutes and the central station will never receive a failure message. However, if something happens to the tail guard and you know, there will be nothing to reset the counter, it will reach that five minute mark. And when it does, a failure message is sent to the central station. Uh, from that moment on, the TCC will wait for the next check-in signal to come in uh, order to, in order to send a restoral message to the central station. So that, that covers uh, the products here and that concludes the TD7FS. Um, right now I want to get into uh, just a few minor things. Uh, the sunset, you know, the dreaded 3G CDMA sunset. Um, you know, if you've been in this, in this industry for a while, you're going to be familiar with this um, because we had a 2G sunset not too long ago. Um, just to set the record straight and get dates out there because there seems to be a little bit of confusion on this, uh, the 3G technology, which is used by AT&T, that is set to, uh, to go dark on February 22nd of 2022, okay? Um, Verizon uses the CDMA technology and that is going to sunset on December 31st, 2022. So uh, as I tell a lot of dealers, now is not the time to panic. You know, if, if you have, you know, five, 10, 20, 50, 3G or CDMA units, you've got plenty of time to start swapping these out. Now, if, uh, if you're one of the dealers who, uh, you know, have a couple thousand out there, uh, yeah, you should already have started swapping these out. Um, based on what we saw during the 2G sunset, I'm going to um, I'm going to take a guess here and say that carriers are going to start shutting towers down prior to those. 2022 dates. Um, as towers need maintenance or if something happens, they're, they're not going to spend the time, they're not going to spend the resources to, to go fix a 3G tower. They're just going to go ahead and, and do a full upgrade to LTE. So um, I, you'll start to see the, the sunsets happen a little bit earlier than February and December of 2022. Um, just so you know, when it comes to Telguard units, you can log into your dealer portal at Telguard.com, and we, we make it real simple for you to run a report uh, that shows all the 3G and CDMA units that you have that are active in the field. Um, if you need help doing that, feel free to reach out to me, and, uh, and I'll be glad to help out with that. So uh, another common question that we get in regards to, uh, to these sunsets is, what is Telguard going to do, right? Um, in the past, what we did is we, for, for the TG1 Express, let's use that as an example, and, and I guess we did it with our other communicators too. Um, you, as a dealer, were required to go on site, uh, take down the old unit, and take out the SIM card, uh, and, and go. you had to purchase a new unit and go ahead and put up your new unit. And then with the old SIM card, um, there was a form and you had to stick that SIM card on the form, you had to fill it out, you had to mail it back to us, and then you would get a $50 rebate, you know, a few weeks later or a couple months later, whenever our, you know, our team got to that. We're not going to do that this time around. We're going to make it a lot easier for you. There's not going to be any kind of hoops to run through. It's going to be a simple uh, over-the-counter discount um, at your distributor. So for the TG1 Express, it's going to be a buy three, get one free. Um, this started several months ago, and we're gonna we're gonna do this up until the sunsets here in the, in 2022. So at a buy three get one free, um, depending on your distributor, that should make those TG1 Expresses about a hundred dollars a piece. Okay, uh, and again, it, that's just straight discount over the counter. Nothing to nothing to fill out. You don't have to worry about SIM cards or anything like that. Now, when it comes to the commercial side of things, uh, you've got the TG7s um, that are going to sunset. And what we have created is a low-cost replacement board. And this is the TG7 UBL. Um, just add an A or a V at the end of that for AT&T or Verizon uh, when, you, when you place your order through your distributor. So what this does 
is this allows your tech to go out, um, simply leave the can mounted where it is, just unscrew the, the four screws that hold the board up and replace it with the new one. Uh, simple as that. It's about a five minute job to swap one of these out. But that's, uh, that's our approach for the upcoming sunsets. Um, and the new feature that I kind of want to touch on a little bit, another question that we get asked a lot about is upload download. Um, Telgard does offer upload download on our LTE products. And um, if you will get in touch with me, I can send you over a, uh, a user guide that will take you through how to use the the uh, virtual modem, but basically all you would need to do is go to telguard.com, uh, go to the tab that says apps, scroll down to virtual modem, enter in your, your name and email address, and we're gonna provide you a link with a virtual modem. Um, and this is going to, currently it works with uh, Comp the downloader programs Compass, uh, Enterpriser, DLX 900, and DLS 5. And then as uh, get, getting to the end here, um, some of you may or may not know, uh, Telgard is now part of the Amatech family. Amatech is a corporation out of Pennsylvania um, that owns several companies, so we are now part of that. And um, thanks to Amatech, we are now able to offer some new products that in, in markets that we weren't in uh, previously. So uh, power protection is now an option for Telguard. And, and power issues are the leading cause of business downtime. So 95% of business uh, experienced downtime in the last two years. Any powered camera system should have a UPS backup. Uh, if the power goes down, the camera stay up. You know, we need to protect mission critical equipment from disruptive electrical transits. When, um, when being down is not an option, do you have a contingency plan for a power outage? What would this do to your mission critical equipment? Telgard's uninterruptible power supply um, products have a zero transfer time to guarantee your equipment remains up and running. So prevent your machines from failing using double online conversion technology and ensure safe shutdown of equipment. Uh, UPS solutions have extended scalable run times of up to eight hours via self-charging battery packs. Uh, and you can even use an SNMP card to manage that UPS remotely. And then um, in addition to the power protection, we have um, uh, these uh, the smaller smaller power protection power protection units. So approximately 80% of all power disturbances come from within a building. Um, protect day-to-day -day equipment from disruptive electrical transits. Any electronic device that uses public utility power is at risk of failure. Even smaller, cost-conscious, everyday applications need power protection. Um, our, patent, our patented non-sacrificial multi-stage surges, uh, suppression allows the lowest amount of let-through energy in the market and does not degrade over time. Um, it's three stages of protection. Ensure equipment is safeguarded from the harmful effects of surge energy and its advanced filtering virtually eliminates normal and common mode electrical noise interference that can cause reboots and downtime. So that, um, you know, we always get questions like what's new with Telguard? Uh, that definitely is what's new with Telguard is when it comes to power protection. So if you're in the, uh, in the AV field, uh, definitely reach out to me and we can discuss this further, okay? Um, that is what I have for you guys today. I'm going to put my information up here. So if you uh, if you have any questions, start getting those together. Um, you know, my uh, my phone number, my email address is up there. So please jot that down. And um, with that, I guess I'll toss it back over to Philip and see if we have any questions. All right. Thanks, Adam. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. And so, yeah, at this time, we will certainly take any questions that you have. Um, if we can assist you with anything, just let us know. Well, all right. Well, of course, if you do think of any questions um, in the meantime, you do have Adam's uh, information there. Uh, feel free to also contact us at Security Central. 
Uh, again, my name is Philip Love with Security Central. I'll be glad to assist you with anything uh, that you may need, including getting you in touch with Adam if need be. So um, again, Adam, thank you for your time. We appreciate you giving the presentation uh, and we hope it was beneficial and educational for you. And uh, we look to see, see you all soon. Thanks, Philip. Thanks, everybody.